Some Xbox gamers may encounter problems with party chat from time to time. In this video, we'll show you the solutions that you can try. If your Xbox party chat keeps disconnecting and you have no idea how to fix it, Make sure to check if there are any server issues that affect games, multiplayer, and features such as party chat in the official Xbox support site. Your Xbox should automatically check for the latest software updates for you but you can also manually do it yourself. Updating the software is one of the simple ways to keep bugs away. If your Xbox runs a fully updated software and there are no server issues at all, your next move is to ensure that you refresh the router. You can do that by turning off the router and unplugging it from the power source for 30 seconds. Doing a full power cycle is recommended to be performed once every few days. If you plan on playing online multiplayer games and talk to your friends via party chat, you should ensure that you have an open NAT type. If you are interested to know how to troubleshoot your NAT type option, visit the official Xbox.com support page. Alternatively, you can get help from your internet service provider on how to access your router settings, change your network configuration, and change your NAT type. Just as refreshing the router helps in fixing certain issues, so is refreshing your Xbox console. Make sure that you power cycle your Xbox by unplugging it from the power source for 30 seconds. This should be enough time to clear the system cache and hopefully get rid of bugs. Another really simple thing that you can do at this stage is to ensure that you refresh the party chat application. To do that, just close the app and fire it back up. After doing that, the network settings are blocking party chat error should be gone and you can resume your voice chat. If you are using Wi-Fi, try to see if party chat works normally when your Xbox is connected directly to the router by our Ethernet cable. When it comes to party chat, you must have a stable and decent upload speed. Make sure that you have a minimum of 5 Mbps for both download and upload speeds. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe to know our latest videos in the future.